we've gotten to, you know, about a quarter way through the season. And you, you look at the losing streak, you look at where they are in the point standings, they're near the bottom of the league again. So I think this is where a lot of people had this team at. You see, this is a team that's going to be among the worst in the NHL, but they have to be on the ice every game and they have to care. So, you know, what we're thinking and, you know, what everyone else is thinking is not all necessarily what the players or coaches are thinking. It's a line rush. Uh, they'll turn, get a pass from you, come in and forecheck on the next five guys waiting in the neutral zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I happy? No. I'm as competitive as everybody else, but I want to look at the few things that we did well as well as the things that we did poorly or wrong and, and correct those, but still acknowledge the things that we did right and we're going to build on those and still get better. Dump it in, two Ds come in behind, just do a little forecheck. Okay, go through the routes, F1 on the guy, make a play, F2 seeking uh, who his out is, and F3 just be above the middle speed. Sometimes you do get frustrated in a season where, you know, you may go a week and your record's one and three, or you're, you're just not putting it together as a team. Seth, did he sign up for a rebuild? Maybe not, but there's new management here now new coaching staff here now, and we're bringing in different players, we're getting new young draft picks. As fast as you can drop in this league, I do believe you can move up fast. It's just like going to the gym. You feel like you lose it fast if you don't work out for a week. It takes 10 weeks to get it back. But if you work at it for 10 weeks, you will get it back. No matter what situation I'm in, whether my team should win the Stanley Cup or if we're in a rebuild, I'm gonna be frustrated after a loss. That's just the way it is. And I think everyone in this room should be frustrated. No backhand sauce. It's teaching you bad habits. Someone put a blade on his stick. Hey? Someone put a blade on Bo's stick. <laughs> Uh-oh. You can shoot, eh? His shots are good low, eh? Right there on top corner. How does like the situation you're in feel? It always feels brutal anytime uh, you're on a losing streak, short or long. As it gets longer, it starts to weigh on guys more and more. There's a lot of games this season, and you can't let uh, a game uh, or a little bit of a streak dictate how your year's going to go. It's a roller coaster. We're, we're working our way up. It's going to be great once we get up there, you know? Low to high. Okay, there's a pipe play. All right, same thing here. When they get it, they. they, they they're gonna charge back in. They're gonna try and like seal all that off. So we gotta be moving our feet and automatic rim outs like this. Um, I love game. watching Patrick Kane, obviously. Um, and oh, it's just fun to keep watching and uh, keep rooting for them. That's it on them, all right? It's just about us, all right? We're on the road, let's play a real smart game. Let's go after them, let's be real, real determined. Let's get a, a win here, start the road trip off on the right foot. It's not easy watching, you know. We get a lead, giving it up, but uh, it, it'll come eventually. We got JJ starting on left wing, Dickie at center, Blackie on right wing. We got Camber, Murph, Peter in the net. It's an original six battle from the Garden. McCabe scores! but it goes off the stick of 52 Johnson in the high slot. Chad Jones, one-timer, save Halak, rebound, score! Patrick Kane! Domi in front, score! And the Hawks get that second power play goal. It's 3-0. And play our game. Best thing we did, don't throw out, we hit their best defense. Okay, and then we get up on we can play. All right, you don't get sucked into this shit after the whistle. Third period, Hawks lead at 1.3 goals. Buckle up. Kane throws it in front, they score! Taylor Radish. Put it in on an empty net. And our 
starting this road trip out right. Well, that feels better, doesn't it? Did not look like a team on an eight-game losing streak, that's for sure. Showed a lot of compete, a lot of heart, and they got rewarded here tonight with the victory. Big win. Big goal, a lot of guys. I'm going to give it to uh, Reese for getting this going. Yeah. Great, great win tonight, boys. I think uh, the best part about that was sticking up for each other. Great job, Taser, Jude, Murph, getting in there. That's a uh, great team effort. I love to see it. Uh, Your job is always to go out there and play good hockey and, and win games and do, do what you do, and that's why they... They bring you in here, so focusing on my job uh, on the ice as a player and a captain, and just really enjoying it and uh, being thankful for for every aspect of it and taking it one day at a time, and not much more than that. All right, good job last night. I thought the kill was really good early. You know, the first and second it was good the whole game really when it mattered, right? So that kept the kept the lead for us. Um, getting the getting out of the Islanders, they do have uh, you know you got to recognize what their strengths are with this group. This was on the last game when we played these guys. Real good job, right? We're down ice early, and I think we can do more of this. Like right? We're one in, one out. We're not giving it. So Dickie's in, now no, laughs in, all right? Laugh gets out, Dickie comes in, right? So we're not really giving Barzell much time to get going there, and that's kind of the key. And you know, they will look to the bumper when Barzell ends up on this side. A lot of right shots. This will be Pajot tonight into the, into the bumper. He'll look here, right? So again, when this puck's below the hash marks, this forward, our stick should be inside. You might have to give him this, all right? And then if, if it comes up here, he'll recover, he'll go to the elbow, all right? So real good job here by Murph, all right? Keeping him on one half of the net here, all right? We can't let him get to the weak side. Um, I understand he's gonna be difficult to move there, but keep him on the strong side of the net so our goalie can, can steal, uh, steal that strong side. There's been some highs and some lows, and you know, when you clump them all together, it kind of feels like the highs are really high and the lows are very low, but it's a long season, things even out over time, and hopefully when we do hit the lower parts of the year, hopefully we can cut those off and put some wins together. Soderball makes the save, but we have to take a second look at that. That puck might be crossed the line. The puck completely crossed the goal line. In front, and a score. Zach Parisi tipped it in, and the Islanders go up 2-0. And Brock Nelson makes it 3-0. The Islanders have seized control of this game late in the second period. We have to be patient. We have to let this process happen. We're trying to either identify from within those pieces that we feel can be part of the core moving forward, or how do we acquire those guys. We're hoping that maybe there's a couple pieces that are here. They might not be here in Chicago. They might be players we've drafted this past year, or maybe two years ago, or three years ago. But we have to be very smart with the decisions we make with these guys moving forward. How would you describe what it's like playing for the Blackhawks right now? It's different than what we've come to expect here. And we probably exceeded expectations to, to start the season. And I think we could get to that level and we can play at that level consistently, but we've gone through a little bit of a tougher stretch. Sometimes you take it as a challenge personally. What can you do for yourself or for the team to get out of this situation or make the most of the situation? What went wrong in that one, do you feel like? Uh, I mean, they double, doubled us in shots. They kind of outworked us. We left Sodi out to dry. Um, didn't get pucks deep. Didn't get pucks on net. A lot of didn't tonight in my eyes. Uh, it's frustrating, um, you know. Sometimes it's easy to have a letdown game after an emotional win. Do you think that was the case in, in this instance? Not really, because we didn't have a string of very good games before that at home. So I think that we're hungry to, to string good games together and we're focused to do it. So that's uh, it's not an excuse for us to have a good game and be able to let one off the next night. How does right now, this stretch that you guys are on, feel to you personally? Uh, you know, it's not a great feeling. You know, um, anytime you're losing and, and sometimes losing the way we've been losing, you know, we've given up leads in the third and 
Um, you know, it's one thing when you're losing because um, the play, you know, just from luck, say, or bad bounces. Um, but I think we're sometimes we're losing because, um, not that we're getting outworked, but we're just getting out, outplayed a little bit. Remember what we talked about yesterday, right? Just execution every shift here. And sometimes you might get to the bench and, and giving them nothing is a win for us, right? Because if you do it for 60 minutes here, they're going to crack. All right? It doesn't mean we're not going to skate and work and create our own chances, but if we do it longer than them, they're going to give us some. Make sure we keep our uh, shift short here, all right? Get everybody's legs going, lots of talk out there, and uh, ready to go right from the drop of the puck. Come on, let's battle in front here. They're not a heavy team. Good shot, fire through the D, good shot there. Ready for him here, we got one, two, three. You can't change everybody. One D at a time. Hughes throws it across, Hamilton scores. Had a couple two on ones. Keep shooting the puck. One bounced over dome stick. I already had a couple good chances with NC. Like keep going after it. Start off the power play here. Keep going and stay on the body. Go to that net hard. There's pucks are bouncing off this guy. There's gonna be second chances there. Okay, let's go. As much as they maybe defied expectations early on, it's it's probably a little bit more realistic what's happened here since then. Really no chance there. Scores. Come on, boys, move our feet, make a play here, right? There's still going to be some growth in this team. What we want to do is focus on not letting our downs stay down too long. We want to start peaking back upward right after. Let's correct it, let's get going up that mountain, and let's try and push that climb higher than it was last time. Pass across, and Brett scores. It's a power play goal for the Devils. And it's 3-0 in the second period. When we go down again, let's cut it off again right away. We want it bang, back up, and it goes even higher than the last time. And I think that's how we want to be inside the dressing room, on the ice. And if we do that, I think people will see that. They'll recognize it.